What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is kind of a uh, impromptu video. I was in the middle actually of editing a video which hopefully I'll have up here in a couple of hours. Um, but I got this message uh, as I was playing the game that popped up. Let me get into it here real quick. Which if you have been on the game at all in the last uh, hour or so, I'm sure you probably have seen this as well. Uh, but it is such a big change that I just I had to get uh, had to get this video made, had to get my thoughts out there. I am so excited as a community. Uh, we have been uh, pleading to Gabam on the forums for what seems like I don't know ever since they they changed the basic champ and put that in. Um, but it looks like they have finally listened to the community, and we knew an arena change was coming, but we really were not sure what it was going to be. Uh, so as I opened this up, I was kind of eagerly anticipating what it had to say. And at least from a first impression standpoint, I'm really excited to say that I think these changes are really going to benefit the community. And for those that were unable kind of to, um, you know, to get to the basic arena levels for the, for the cutoffs. And also for those that put in so much time and were disappointed and not able to make the top 400. So I'm just going to read through this real quick. And before I get started, as always, Marvel True Coast uh, posted on Twitter about 20 minutes ago from the time I'm recording this uh, and has kind of a visual breakdown of all these arenas, uh, which do a really good job of kind of laying out, um, you know, all the changes more visually than this. Um, but I'm not necessarily going to take the time to read through all this. I've, I've got it up on the screen there. You're welcome to read through it. Uh, but what they're doing basically is they are taking the two arenas uh, and they're, they're going to replace it with four. Uh, basically, there's uh, you can read it there. It says the Summoner Trials, which looks like that's going to be the very first arena that you get into with two stars. There is a three-star featured hero arena, which you will be using two-star heroes and three-star heroes for that. There is a four-star basic hero arena, which obviously you'll be using four stars. And then the four-star featured hero arena uh, is going to allow you to finally use your four stars and your five stars in that arena. So expect those cutoffs to just be... <laughs> crazy crazy high now uh, with five stars being used uh, one feature which I think is really cool is they have added titles uh, to the people that are coming in first place in these arenas I don't ever expect to be uh, able to get that title myself but uh, I think that's a really cool reward for those that are putting in so much time and so much effort um, milestone increased you can see it right there the number of milestones have been increased and the rewards have slightly increased which that's fine with me I'll take an increase to any of that um, but here we go. Here, here's the big part that we want to get to that we all want to find out and that is the ranked reward improvements. So the number of possible four star featured hero crystals has now doubled. Uh, I went from 400 to 800 which I feel like is a really good number. I was afraid if they pushed that over a thousand it was really going to diminish how impressive it was you know to get that featured hero. Um, the percentage that can earn a four star basic champion has also increased. It also has doubled. It's gone from 5% to 10%. It um, is also going to be including four-star hero shards. Uh, let's see. And summoners can also uh, be rewarded five-star hero shards in rank rewards, which is really cool. Uh, one update, which is awesome, uh, is the Arena Crystal update. They have taken out um, ISO as a reward, which just means now you're going to be getting more gold, more units, more energy refills. Uh, and obviously that increases your chances for Punisher if you take out those ISO 8. Uh, fantastic, fantastic update. Uh, let's see what else is here. Uh, new rank up gem rewards, which I think is, um, they, they put a lot of stuff in here that, I mean, I, <laughs> like I wasn't asking for personally. I hadn't even thought of, but I thought, you know, as I'm reading through this, just, um, I, I'm really excited. I don't know if you can tell, but I, I'm really excited for these changes. So. A rank up gem can be used to rank up one of your champions without the need of catalysts, which is freaking sweet. <laughs> rank up gems can only be used if the champion has been fully leveled up for their current rank. Uh, so basically you got to pump enough ISO into them to get them to the point where they need to upgrade. Uh, and then you don't have to use any catalysts. You can use these gems, uh, which the gems are rewarded. Uh, I think it's in the four star... Uh, let me see here, try to read through this quickly. I think it's in the four-star featured hero. Um, maybe it's the basic. Let's read through and find out here. So we got the Summoner Trials. Obviously, that's the place where everybody is going to start as they come into the game. Uh, top 50 players earn a two-star hero crystal, 5,000 premium hero crystal shards, and on and on it goes there. Uh, top 10% rank reward eligible players earn a two-star hero crystal. 
Uh, and basically, you were mirroring that for the three-star uh, featured hero crystal, or excuse me, the three-star featured hero arena. So whatever four-star featured hero there is, like we've got Archangel coming up soon, he'll be in the featured four-star arena. He will also be the featured in the three-star arena. So again, top 50 players are earning Archangel. And in addition to that, they are also going to be earning uh, the rank up gems that I had mentioned just a second ago. Uh, that is the distinction between the top 50 players and then the percentage below that. Um, the top 10% below that is still going to be getting um, you know, the, the featured hero, but they're not going to be getting those rank up gems. Uh, four star basic hero arena. Again, you can use your three star and your four star. Same basic setup as the three star arena. Uh, top 50 players are going to earn a four star basic hero. Plus, they're going to get two class-specific rank-up gems. Um, again, the distinction there, the top 10% below that is getting the basic hero, but they are not getting the class-specific rank-up gems. So that's really cool. You know, a lot of times when you earn a character, like I just got Gambit on, uh, yesterday, in yesterday's arena, and I don't really necessarily have the, have the time today to go through the mutant um, uh, the mutant catalyst quests to get everything that I need to be able to rank him up. Uh, which means I'm going to have to wait a whole nother rank, to, uh, whole nother week, excuse me, to be able to rank him up. So that's really cool. If you're able to land in this top 50, you can, I mean, you have everything you need basically right there uh, to take them up several ranks and start using them right away uh, in the arenas or alliance wars or you know whatever you want to throw them into. Uh, lastly, this is the four-star featured hero arena, using four stars and five stars. Again, cutoffs are going to be crazy high. Uh, first place gets the four-star featured hero. It's a thousand five-star hero crystal shards and the title Warbound. Uh, that first place, that score, I, I mean, we were already pushing 20 million uh, in the door Mamu um, arena, and that was without five stars. So I would imagine that, uh, I don't even want to speculate. I'm going to say like 30 million, <laughs> um, but I, I don't even want to get into that right now. Uh, let me just let me just finish off here the four star featured hero arena. Um, top 800 of rank reward eligible players earn a four star featured hero and 800 five star hero crystals. I think the the big thing here to keep in mind is overall the four star basic hero arena. The cutoffs I believe are going to start to come down. Um, you know you've got 850 players that are going to get the featured hero. Um, excuse me, you have 800 players that are going to get the four-star featured hero, and you're going to have many more past that that are trying. But what that means is those characters have been removed from the top 10% that are going for the basic hero, which is going to, I think, lower those scores dramatically. Um, so really, overall, I mean, I, I could not be happier with these changes that are being made. Um, I, I really wanted to get this video out. I'm sure more information will come that will clarify some things. Uh, but this looks pretty straightforward. Looks to be almost exactly what we were asking for. Um, the thing that I that I don't necessarily see. Let me go back up just to double check. Um, it doesn't look like. Yeah, it doesn't look like you are being excluded if you are in one arena from playing the others. So if you are in, you know, the four-star basic arena, you can still be going in the three-star or going for the featured. Um, I, I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to just stick to the featured, the, the higher-rated players for now. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily worry about them coming in and increasing the, the point score for the other arenas. Um, but I do find that uh, kind of interesting that they're not necessarily uh, dividing up the arenas and, and keeping people from playing uh, multiple arenas. But I'm fine with that. I'm just going to do one at a time. I don't, I don't have that much time to put into the game. So uh, just a quick video. I'm kind of scatterbrained right now. I apologize. But uh, just super excited. And wanted to get this out there to hear what you guys had to say, hear what you guys think. Uh, are you happy with the changes? Were they not enough? Were they too much? Uh, would love to hear opinions either way. So uh, leave those down in the comments below or, as always, over on Twitter. All right, guys, I'm going to go back and continue working on the original video that I had planned for this evening. And uh, hopefully get that up soon for you. All right, take care, guys. Bye.